Miss Irish, this is your son. He's a minor. The car that was damaged is probably in your name, so it belongs to you. And it is your claim that Mr. Garland's son hit that car with a baseball bat. You weren't there, you don't know what happened, and Mr. Garland, you weren't there, and you don't know what happened either. That's correct, Your Honor. Why don't you both sit down? So now I have my prey. <laughs> Mr. Hochberg, what's your first name? Nick. What is this young man's name? Matthew Magruder. And your first name? Max. You can stand up. Yes, Your Honor. You're Matthew. Yes. Who first had the girlfriend? Me. <laughs> <laughs> And what's the girlfriend's name, Nick? Um, Natalie. And who had Natalie as a girlfriend second? That would be Matt. Did you ever date Natalie? I am currently dating Natalie. You are currently dating, and you're Max. Yes. From when to when did you date Natalie? Probably, it was freshman year of high school, so I don't, I don't really know the dates exactly. What year are you in now? Um, I'm a senior now. So it would have been three years ago. Yes. And when did you date Natalie? It was October 2015 through February 2017. And you are au courant? Correct. Starting when? Uh, May of 2016. 2016 or 17? 2017. I'm sorry, Your Honor. <laughs> <laughs> on what date did this incident happen with the car? It happened on November 3rd. Who was going to tell me a story that I'm going to believe? He will. <laughs> You want him to tell the story? Mm-hmm. Forget it. Mm. It's your case. Mm -hmm. You tell me the story from the beginning of the evening. Okay, so Matthew Magruder texted me and asked me if I wanted to hang out with him that night. Do you have those texts? I do not, I don't think. Do you have I the mean, texts? I mean, Your Honor, I... I bet... No. So, we don't have the text messages. Right. Let us assume that that's what happened, that Matthew texted you and said you want to hang out. Now, were you friends even though you dated Natalie first? Yes, ma'am. And he dated Natalie second? Yes, ma'am. And so what did you do? So we met up at Qdoba, the Mexican Grill. What time? Probably uh, nine. What time? Don't look at him. Sorry. Over here. You met up at a Mexican grill mm -hmm. at about 9 o'clock. Mm -hmm. What happened next? Matthew had called Max to ask him if he wanted to talk about the situation that they, were, that they had going on. Just a second. Matthew wanted to speak to Max. Right. When did he tell you that? I was in the car with him when he called him. So now you're not in the Mexican grill. You're sitting outside in whose car? In Matthew's car. How did you get to Matthew's car? In my car. We met up at Qdoba and we were just, we were hanging out at, at Qdoba. So you left your car, you got into Matthew's yeah. car. And when you got into Matthew's car, Matthew said, I'm going to call Max. Yes. And the conversation with Max had to do with Natalie. No, not, not necessarily. Well, what do you think that he wanted to talk to him about? It what was, do you think? Probably Natalie. Uh -huh. Yes. <laughs> I've had five children. I have 13 grandchildren. Two of them are small. They're not there yet. I want to tell you what I know about teenagers. Most of the time when their mouths are moving, they're lying. Right. I picked on you because I'm hoping that you won't be foolish enough to lie to me. Do you understand? Yes, ma'am. Him, I'm not sure about. <laughs> Do you understand? Right, yes. So now you meet up at the Mexican Grill mm -hmm. just to hang out. But if you're hanging out, what are you hanging out in the car for? If you want to go to the Mexican Grill, you go in, you have a taco, you have some guacamole, and you have right. dip. But you met him, parked your car in the lot of the Mexican Grill, mm -hmm. got into his car, and he didn't say to you, gee, what should we do? Should we go to the park? Maybe we should go to somebody's house? Mm -hmm. He said to you, I want to call Max and clear the air, right? Right. Keep going. It's getting better. Okay, so um, he, he called Max and talked to him. Yeah, and You were in the car. Yeah, and I was in the car at the time. I want you to tell me, listen to me really carefully, I want you to tell me what Matthew said when he got Max on the phone. So he was talking to Max. What did he say when he, as soon as he got him on the phone? He asked if he wanted to talk. And you did, couldn't hear the answer, right. I assume. And then what did he say? And then he was given an address, I believe, and Matthew... You mean Matthew was given yeah. an address? So Matthew couldn't... I, don't, I, don't, I believe that Matthew couldn't talk to him over the phone. Um, don't, I don't care what you believe. I want to hear what you heard in the car. Right, so he, then he got an address from Max and said that he, would, that he would come there. Now what you're doing is you're with Matthew because, you know, Matthew was annoyed with Max. Mm -hmm. 